Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun Erin Condren haul. I'm super excited to show it to you guys. I do have Mila in my office and I have a feeling she's working on new, needing a new diaper. So if you hear some grunting, that's what that is. And then my printer's also going because I'm also working on restock. So anyway, I just figured I would quickly film a haul video for you guys. I picked up some fun stuff that I'm super excited to share um, and so I am just going to kind of leave the box over on this side and sorry about the lighting I may just close this temporarily as I film this video um, and you're gonna see that little light anyway so I picked a lot of this up because of something that I saw that was new. I'm super excited to share kind of how I'm going to use that. I've also kind of reevaluated how I'm planning and I love using my Planner Kate stickers, but there's occasionally going to be times where I like just am not in love with stickers from her shop and that's completely fine. But I want to have some Erin Condren backup so that like when I run into a situation like that and I don't have enough kits for the month that I can use her stickers. I love using the Erin Condren stickers. I used to use them so much more and then I kind of got away from it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The reason why I placed this order was for these on the go folio sticker albums. I picked up two. So here's one, here's the other. And the reason why I picked up two is because I wanted to have a place where I could keep my budget stickers. So you guys know I have my Etsy shop where I have budget stickers and I always try and put my stickers um, that I'm planning on using for the upcoming months in a separate area so that I don't like have that mixed in with my regular inventory. Um, and so I wanted to pick up one just for that. So every single month as I finish kits, I can put them in here and they're just ready to go. I can put them in the back of my planner, but then it gets kind of bulky. So, um, I got one for that and then one for my Erin Condren stickers. So I'm going to open this up. Um, I think that this is meant to fit into the folios, the on the go folios. Um, and it looks like there's 24 clear sticker sleeves, so you can fit up to 48 sticker sheets. It's the petite planner size, um, and it just tells you kind of how to use it and how to assemble it. But I am going to have this separate. I am not going to have this in my folios because my folios I use for Etsy, and I don't really need. Um, I don't really need that. So. This is kind of what it looks like. This is plastic. It's like a plastic material. And then this is kind of like a sheet protector material, although it does feel really thin. So that's going to be interesting to see how it works out. But I might have to add like one of those bands just to get it to kind of stay down. Because again, both of mine are going to be used outside of the folio. So um, that's kind of what I, the, the reason why I placed these orders. Then I picked up some random stuff. I picked up a bunch of these sticker sheets. I've talked about this before, but I have recently been following Planning Penelope, I believe, on Instagram. Um, I love her spreads. She uses Planner Kate. She uses Erin Condren, and I saw that she used one of these from Erin Condren, and I'm obsessed. So this is what I plan on using for my plan with me um, for this upcoming week. So I picked up a couple of those. I also picked up a couple covers because there's some new covers out and I thought it would be really cute. So here's the first one. It's the rainbow one. I just have my name on it. It's a little different. It's not normally what I would go for. I'm not a big rainbow person, but I feel like these are toned down enough that it's cute. So I picked up that one. I also picked up this one for my budget planner. So it just says 2020 family finances. You guys know that I actually have a 2019 to 2020 uh, budget planner, but I figured it will work for that as well. And then the last thing that I picked up is another one of these really cute covers. I currently have this cover in like the coral on my planner and I want to change it out to like this taupe color. I believe it's like taupe and white. Um, and then it just says SM, so Sarah Marie. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff in here are a bunch of stickers. And if you guys watched my channel for a while, um, or if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've done a de-stash to get rid of a bunch of my like older Planner Kate stuff, a lot of my Erin Condren stickers. Well, 
I did that because I started realizing I was collecting stuff that I was never using. A lot of really decorative stuff that just doesn't work for me. So in this haul, I picked up a bunch of like more functional stickers. So I picked up a bunch of them because honestly, I hope that I'm going to do a lot more Erin Condren um, plan with me is like using her stickers, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So I have a whole stack of them here. I got five of the color block event stickers. I got five of the um, hexagon stickers and then five of the circle ones. And this is, these are the stickers that I plan on filling up this little album with. And I'm actually gonna set it up with you guys right now because why not? And if I don't do it now, I probably won't ever get to doing it. So I'm gonna work on that now while Mila lets me. So first, let's just take all of these out. And I want, I know a lot of my, a lot of my plan with me's I will probably do like planner Kate and Erin Condren. It won't just be like one or the other, but I want to try my best to use stickers from Erin Condren as well because I I feel like I don't really use them that often. And I have a bunch of sticker books, um, a bunch of these obviously, and I never really use them. So I love these color block stickers. I feel like they're super cute. Every time I use them, I love them. And I care about the foil. I don't like to mix foil, so that's why I'm separating them here. And then in my actual book, I'm planning on having them separate. So that's kind of what we'll do here. I am going to stay away from getting stickers that are not functional. Um, if I do get them, then I'll probably like give them away or something because I just don't want to have a bunch of stickers that I'm not going to use just sitting around. It just doesn't make sense for me. So. I'm going to go ahead and just add these in to my little sticker book and I'll kind of show you guys how they all fit. I wish that these were a little bit bigger just so that I could use them for my Planner Kate stickers as well because um, I don't really have a Planner Kate binder anymore for my kits so I just have them in my desk which is completely fine. I don't really need to take them with me. I only use them when I'm doing plan with me's. And then they go in the back of my planner, so that that works, but these are not the easiest to get in. And it could just be that I'm filming, and if I could move it over, it'd be a little bit easier. Okay, so that's in. And I think I'm going to do all of these front and back, even though these two are different. I think if you start from the inside and do it the out, you know, put the outside in, it works better. But I'm super excited to do my plan with me for this week because I'm going to try and use all or a lot of Erin Condren stickers. And I think it'll be really nice to just do something a little different. I, with planning for so long, like I've, I've been planning for a long time now. Um, I've had an Erin Condren planner for like, I think three years now. Um, it's not like, I don't feel super excited to plan all the time, but I have to say I am super excited to plan next week just because I like have kind of an idea of what I want to do. Hopefully it turns out nicely. You never know when you're trying something different. I've definitely gotten into a groove with the Plan Arcade stickers. So it's going to be interesting kind of switching it up a little bit, but We'll kind of see how it goes. These kind of stick out a little bit. So I'm gonna get these now. I just wanna show you guys what it kind of looks like. So this will be separate. And these are the same things. I guess I technically could have went through and put all of the rose gold together, all of the gold together, but I kind of want them to be like based off of what kind of sticker they are. So we're gonna do it that way. I think if I did my ca calculations right, I think that these will be just enough to fill this, but we'll see. I'm super glad that I got this package. I legit just got it. I was really hoping I would get it before Macy and Jason got home so I could film this video 
video before they're here and get it uploaded for you guys because I did not have a video for you yesterday and I was just waiting for these to come so okay it's a lot easier to film with one kid rather than two because of course as soon as Mila's chill Macy like is wanting attention so two kids it's fun it's definitely really fun but it's just hard to get work done sometimes okay I'm super excited to see how this works and like taking these things in and out will be interesting as well like to see how well they hold up because like I said these do seem a little bit more flimsy than the normal um than the normal sheet protectors that I'm used to but I did have really nice ones before with my plain arcade stuff so that could just be that those were really thick let me know if you guys picked this up, what you think of this thing, if you've been using it for a while. Again, I know that it's probably not going to be like the best quality and it might not hold up the best just because of how flimsy they seem to be, but I'm not going to be using the binder that often, so I'm hoping that I can keep it good for a while. definitely a good alternative though because I know a lot of people have been finding like Amazon sticker books and stuff similar to this so it's good that Erin Condren came up with something so that people have an option to buy it from her so that's those so far and hopefully I have enough to do my little circles I really want to have them all fit in one be so nice okay so rose gold silver Hopefully I plan this out right. I've never really used the circles a ton in my planner. So it's going to be interesting using those. But we'll kind of see. We will see. I'm super excited though to do my plan with me for next week and to change my cover because I'm like kind of obsessed with that more neutral color. Okay, so let's get these in. Hopefully, like I said, I have enough for all of these. It's always fun when there's like new Erin Condren stuff because I feel like during new release time there's so much new stuff and then like kind of during the winter time there's not as much and you're kind of like oh man I just wish there was something like new so it's kind of nice that this is something different okay we're getting there sorry guys I know this is like very very long process Mila girls like I heard you film these videos for months I think we're gonna be good on pages doesn't seem like there's that many pages in here but there for sure are so I still have one two three more spots left so that worked out nicely you can tell it's very packed now so I will definitely be able to put a little band around and I think that'll work really nicely and so now I just have all my rose gold color blocks then all of my um, hexagons and then my circles and they're all in order so it'll be really nice I wanted to get five of each because I know personally like sometimes when you're doing plan with me's for stuff like this like there's so many different colors that you can use really any color but it's nice to pick a couple colors to do it um, to plan because then it doesn't seem so crazy so one that I would definitely use like for this one would probably be like the the blue the dark blue like the navy and then maybe even like a pink color something that like would go the light pink would go pretty well or like this darker pink so I just like to choose one or a couple main colors to go 
off of. I feel like that just helps make it seem a little bit more uniform. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. The other one I'm going to use for my budget kit. So I'll put those in, um, in a little bit. And that's pretty much my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me haul everything and then set this up. I'm super excited about this little book. I think it'll be perfect. Um, again, let me know if you have picked it up and how you're using it because I know there's so many different ways that you can use this thing. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.